Hello, greetings and salutations. This is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome to a new episode on how to. Open Source Channel is where you can actually learn the easy way how to install application on your server, web-based application, and most of them are open source. So without any delay, let's start this tutorial. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to install Open Project. It is a project management software. Is an open source version. I have been asked if I could show the easy way, if possible, how to install Open Project on Docker. Open Project is a quite extensive software and it needs, first of all, a lot of resources, but it's not that simple to install. If we go to the community edition, the one we're going to install today, we have different type of installations. So you can actually download and install as a package on Ubuntu, Debian, CentOS, and SUSE. You can get the Debian RPM package. You can have a corporate server, and of course you can do a Docker container. And this is exactly what we're gonna do today. Even though it's a Docker container, the installation can be daunting and quite hard. Usually this type of installation I try to avoid because it could be a lot of issues when you install it. But I've been asked, so why not doing it? I'm going to try to do it as simple as possible. On this page, you can find several ways to install it. We got the one container per process, that's the recommended. We got the only one container. And we got many other configuration, for example, Apache reverse proxy, if you want to use, just for example, a domain name with a subdomain. For example, me, I use on Portainer, I use Nginx, and Nginx is my proxy manager, and all that process is done automatically by this container. Right, so otherwise you would have to create your virtual host route and you have to do everything manually all right there are as i said you can do docker swarm but again as you know i don't go too much in details and i don't go too much i don't want to overwhelm you with information and make it more difficult there is a way to do it to create a stack and install it in that way if you wanted to but we're going to do it by command line. I think it's much easier, faster. But again, if you want to use it into a, how can I say? So if you want to use it for production, some of the actual installation are not recommended. Now, if you, we go back to the top, as you can see here, multiple container recommended, each with a single process is inside using composer file. One container with all processes inside easy but not recommended for production it's up to you if you want to play around that is the easy way to install it we're going to do a quick start where we're going to deploy the actual open project software on our docker so what you need to do you need to log into your server i have already logged in i'm going to log in as a root put my password as you can see here and all I got to do is just copy and paste and that's the only thing you can actually need to do to get started but again this is not for production use all right for production use you need to do a lot more than what I'm going to show you in this small tutorial so anyway without any delay let's go and clone the open project repository I'm going to copy let me make this a little bit bigger. Here we go. I'm going to press enter. That's done. I'm going to sign the actual compose folder. Now I'm going to do an LS so you can actually see what's inside. And I can see, you can see your Docker compose YML or YAML. Let's have a look inside what is inside there okay i'm going to use nano then docker compose.yml 
And here is the actual version. Now you find all this information as well. Uh, let's have a look here. There we go. If you go to GitHub, for example, you will find all this information here. I'm going to add all this, all right, to the description so you will have a look. But here is the actual open project. And what you see here is exactly what you see here, all right? I'm going to do Control X, I'm going to exit. This is not what we're doing, just I've done it to show you. Now I'm going to do Docker Compose Pool. Now make sure you are inside the folder, okay? I'm going to paste and press enter. It does need a little bit of time. It's quite a big file. Right, so the pool has been completed. All we got to do now is to launch the container. So this is the last command we're going to copy and we're going to paste it. I'm going to press enter. So that has been completed. Now let's go back, for example, as you know, I run a portainer. I'm going to refresh the, uh, the list of the containers. And now I should actually see the open project, as you can see here. Every single one is on a different container, all right? So we got the worker, we got the proxy, the web, the cron, the seed, the database, and the cache as well. The open project is run on a port 8080. I didn't change that because I already knew that the port 8080 was already, oh, sorry, it was not in use, okay? Now, if I go back to the Docker here, you might want to change some of the um, information inside here, okay? Like here, if you know the port 8080 is being used, when I showed you about the Nano, okay, let's go back here, okay? Let me do LS. All right, so you go inside here and you change the port 8080 before the actual installation okay so you go here and you change this part to whatever port you are not using so now has been done we know is port 8080 the ip is this one here i'm gonna copy i'm gonna well um, i don't think i'm gonna use this one here so let's do this one here And we should, we got a 503. So if you get 503, don't worry, the actual server still working the information app. And it will take a little bit longer. All you got to do is just wait a little bit longer, go for a coffee. And when you come back, just press refresh. All right, so I have refreshed it now. And as you can see, the actual open project is up and running. Now I wanted to stress that this tutorial was how to install open project with a few lines, all right? And again, guys, when you install it, make sure you wait, okay? Um, I did put straight away, but sometimes I wait, I post the videos. I know it comes all together, but once installation is complete, for example, you actually do the last line, as I said, go for a cup of coffee, maybe go for two cup of coffees. And if you get a 503, don't worry about it. Just wait until it will come up, okay? I'm not going deep on how to use open projects. Maybe that will be something in the future, but it was just for the installation. But I'm going to show you how to actually sign in as well. The default login and password is admin. And there we go, we're going to sign in. And the first thing that happens is, like many other software, is going to ask you to change your password. So the first one is going to be admin, and then you're going to put the new admin password, okay? Admin because it's the older one. As you can see here, it's the current password. 
Now it needs to be at least 10 characters long, okay? Now if you want, you can actually uh, generate, it's up to you, right? So I got something standard that I use for all my tutorials. I'm gonna click save. Now, now I'm gonna choose my language. Let's have a look again here, okay? And then save. And you can go to few minutes introduction. And I think if you never use open project, please do go to, you know, um, this small introduction so you know a little bit what is and what it is as well okay I'm gonna to go to the next this is the open welcome for example is a demo project a scrum project you can create a new project and you can change the welcome text here as well let's go to the demo project for example working package all the information as you can see earlier very easy to follow really you can create a new one. You got different table, so you can activate, deactivate, deactivate, so on and so forth. You got something like timeline here, and here we go. I'm gonna close it for now. As I said, this is not something I'm gonna show you how to use the program. It was just how to install it. I hope you like this small tutorial. Don't forget to like and share my videos. The more you share, the more you help in the channel. There are many ways you can help the channel. You can contribute by going and pay for a coffee if you want to. I like if you share the actual videos with friends who actually loves this kind of stuff. So again, guys, thanks so much for joining me. Don't forget to like and share. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time.